All right, so let's get started in the basics of importing. First, I have to have a library. So I'll go to File, New, Library, pick a location, and I'll call it My First Library. Uh, by default, I get an event. I'll just select it, hit Enter, type My First Event, hit Enter again. There, now I have an event. I can come to the File menu, choose Import, Media, and see the keyboard shortcut is Command-I. Or I can come to the Import button here and click it, and it opens up the Import window. Now let me explain this window just briefly. On the left here are devices I can select from. If I have a regular location where I dump things all the time, where I dump my video stuff or whatever, I can come down here to the location, right click it, and I can make it a favorite. Now it's a favorite, I can come straight to it anytime I want. If I decide I don't want it there anymore, I can right click, remove from sidebar. If I select a clip, you see there's waveforms there down here is a little clip appearance menu. I can turn off my waveforms if I want. If I skim over a clip, it shows me the name of the clip and the time code. I can click on any of these headers to sort by that criteria. Clicking on it over and over changes it between ascending and descending. I can right click this and customize whatever information I want to show up here in my window. Over here on the right, we have blocks for each of our settings. I can come to a block, the title of the block, and when I mouse over, I can hide it or show it so I can customize how that looks. When I select a clip or a group of clips, I can select Import Selected, or if I select all of them, Import All. But there's one other place you'll find these settings. That is in the Preferences under Import. Now, why do we have these here in the Preferences? This has nothing to do with that Import window. This is different. This only pertains to drag and drop. 